black cubing here today i'm going to review the moyu linko 2 by 2 so i got this cube two or three days ago and uh, i have used it for quite some time which is why i want to uh, give you a review of this cube so the first thing is that it comes in the moyu box with the other variants of the cube displayed on the back and also you get the uh, uh the all the chinese things written on the front and the website's name and everything so inside uh, the box was the cube in the plastic package which i did not have right now and this manual so as you can see the manual um tells you how to solve the rubik's cube in chinese unfortunately but it gives you the algorithms in english so If you know how to solve a three by three, or you know the basic algorithmic rotation, then you should be able to get how to solve the two by two using this. And then we go on to the cube itself. So this cube comes looped and uh, tensioned with no uh, reason to set it up, and it's nice and fast. So another thing is that it's also controllable. So like if I flick the top layer that way. it will move almost 360 degrees but while i'm solving or while i'm doing fast turns or while say if i do a solve right now if you can see then it will not um, ever uh, overshoot because i turned it too fast so like so it has not over a uh, shot or it does not overshoot now the next thing is that this cube i have still not figured out how to open it yet so unfortunately i cannot show you its mechanism but what i can show you is how it looks by just taking these pieces apart so what's funny is that even though the cube is a black based cube it has a white internal core and actually i find that quite comforting while solving and it Uh, comes in the standard moyu shape so this was a short introduction of the cube now i'm going to review the cube, review the cube based on a few categories such as uh, speed and gen and general info corner cutting and design flaws price and the general sticker scheme and basically the feel the handling of the cube and then lastly i would do a sort so the first category is speed and general info So in general, info this cube is like any other two by two. It can be tensioned. It has the Florian cuts, and basically it has um, the normal sticker scheme, and everything is fine. The speed it's fast enough, so you won't ever experience slowness or sluggishness on this cube. So it's not a problem at all. Also, one more thing I would like to tell you in the general info is that it's really crunchy. So like. Even though it's smooth, it's got a nice crunchy feel to it. So if you can hear the sound the cube is making right now, it's very crunchy. And like say the Shengsha two by two, which is smooth, but it is almost it almost makes no noise. So this is quite loud. This is quite a loud cube. So overall, in this. in the speed and general info category i would give this cube a 9 out of 10 and the only reason i would give it a 9 out of 10 cube is a uh, 9 out of 10 score is because some cubers might not might not enjoy the crunchy feel so the next category is corner cutting and design flaws as far as i see i can see no obvious design flaws in this cube apart from one thing it make cat sometimes in a situation where you are trying to corner cut it but it's being held back so what it does it it locks up in this fashion uh, so that is just one minor design flaw but if you have a good turning style it won't happen now corner cutting on this cube is actually exceptional for a 2 by 2 it corner cuts 45 degrees easily and even a little more than 45 degrees sometimes but a little more than 45 degrees is quite unpredictable reverse corner cutting is about a quarter of a qb which is not too bad but it never catches or locks up so it's not a problem so in the corner cutting and lock up category i would give this cube a 9 uh, out of 10 score again because of the slight design flaw uh, problem of it catching or locking sometimes so the next 
a category is the uh, is the price of the cube so the price actually on this cube can vary at but mostly you would get it at about uh, 7 to 8 dollars or maybe 9 to 10 dollars on the expensive side on a few stores or if they are selling the cube in bulk and there's or they are selling it cheaply you might even get it for 6 or 7 dollars i'm unsure of the price on the cubicle right now but i think it's in that area so this cube is priced in the mid range like there are 2 by 2s like the cyclone boys 2 by 2 that are much much better then the, uh, they're much much better price than this cube but they're not as good so i would give it an 8 out of 10 because on some sites it can have a slightly high price tag now the uh, last category is the stickers and the color recognition that sort of stuff so personally i like moyu shades so i have had no problem with recognizing stickers and I and I actually enjoy that the cube stickers are almost uh, they almost go to the boundaries. So like on some cubes like the Shengshao two by two, they are a little short of the side. So they are smaller stickers. But I actually enjoy these stickers. So I think these are half bright stickers, but it's not a problem. They're quite good stickers actually. So. I, I think you won't have a problem recognizing this so as a conclusion i would like to say that this cube is absolutely amazing earlier i had averages of about uh seven eight sometimes nine seconds on my shank shout two by two and there were a number of reasons for this but uh, one of the big ones was that it caught it lock up and the stickers were not that good but once i got this cube my averages are down to almost six to eight seconds so to uh, at the end of this video i would like to do the uh, solve on this cube so just scramble it up inspect it turn on my timer and uh, all right As you can see, I've got a pretty good time of 7.38 seconds and this cube performed completely smoothly all throughout the solve. And if you just want to know, I use the Ortega method. So please comment, like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing cubing videos. Thank you for watching.